Hey, okay, I promised I would come back and do a live and we're gonna test our ketones. What does that mean? So a lot of people ask, how do you know if you're in ketosis? And so you can check a couple different ways. There are, there's a little strip that you can pee on, they're pee strips. And so the question is, how do I know? Some people, you can, you can just tell. You should have phenomenal energy, focus, appetite control, all of those things. Whether you're going into ketosis nutritionally, isn't that funny, the light's changing in my background as I talk? Or whether you are drinking ketones, it doesn't matter. So I drank this a little less than an hour ago, and I'm gonna show you something because there is a difference in testing your pee strips versus testing, oops, hold on, I've gotta get this situated. So, hmm, I gotta get it situated. So you can pee on a strip, the longer you eat keto or, or even drink this, the less likely the strips will be accurate, the pee strips. Uh, there's lots of variables. You can drink a lot of water, you can pee out. I mean like, oops, I'm not sure why this isn't working. Hold on a second, I'm getting, oh, there we go. I gotta turn it off, I'm gonna turn it back on. The pee strips are not accurate. The longer you eat this way or even drink the product, the less likely it will show up. And it just gives people peace of mind in the very beginning, but long-term, the strips are not accurate. You're gonna to wanna to use a blood meter. So what I do is I use this and you're going to, I get this off Amazon. I think this is gonna work. I feel like it's causing me issues. Let's see. Maybe it's running out of batteries. Hold tight. So we're gonna do a little bit of Q&A. Why would you test your ketones? I think it's important to know if you're in ketosis or not. A lot of people will come to me and go, hey, I'm trying to do this, it's not working, I'm not feeling the greatest. You gotta prick your finger. Um, maybe you've reached a plateau, maybe you feel like this isn't quite working exactly how you want it to. And so I'll say, well, my question to you is, are you in ketosis? And so you'll say, a lot of people go, I have no idea, what does that mean? And I'll say, well, is your body making ketones or are you drinking them? I hope this is enough blood, hold on. I might have just really messed this up. I feel like there's a technique even to testing your blood ketones because it's one of those like, for some reason, my little middle finger is not creating a lot of little blood. Maybe I didn't hit it in the right spot. I don't think this, look at this is like real life people. I promise you I'll get this to work. I'll get it to work, it's gonna be great. You're gonna see my blood ketones, maybe. We're just waiting for some blood to go into there. Okay, let's see what it says. Hopefully it works. It wasn't working before, but can you see that? <gasps> Whoa, do you see that? I'm gonna explain this in a second, 4.3. I've never had my ketones that high, ever. I've been eating really good and drinking ketones. That's amazing. Do you see that? What does this mean? This means that there's legitimate ketones in my bloodstream. This means that I've got a heightened level of ketones, so the window keeps throwing it off. So ketones help with energy, focus, appetite control, all of those things. I've never had mine this high ever in my entire life. I'm actually quite proud of that. <gasps> Can you see it? That's cool. So what I think is pretty cool is you can test your, your pee strips, right? But the problem with that is this. A lot of people will, not all ketones are created equal. And honestly, the longer that you drink something like this, your body will get really good at uptaking it. So you're not gonna pee them out. You don't want to pee it out. You know like when you take a vitamin and they say vitamins like little pills, like your pee turns yellow, you're peeing it all out. You don't want your strips to really turn super dark, right? Like it gives you a peace of mind, but this is what I drank an hour ago. I drank this and I've been eating great. I do not track my macros. I don't put, look at what my number is. You're eating well, you're working but out. I was telling people like I oh, don't yes. track my macros. So one of the Q and A questions I get a lot is, are you tracking your ketone? Are you tracking your macros? Are you tracking how much I gotta take a picture of this because I'm so proud of this. This is pretty cool. Okay, 
I don't track everything. In the very beginning, my husband used to track his food in my fitness pal. He would weigh everything out on a little weigh thing. He would prick his finger. He would figure out how many ounces of meat, how much fat, like he did all of that because there was no drink, there was nothing you could drink. He had to make his body produce ketones and that's great, right? I wasn't willing to do it and I talked to more people who want the benefits of ketones because ketones are a fuel source. Your body can create them or you can drink them or you can do both, right? Like this optimizes what you were doing. When my husband used to track his blood meter, I remember he used to track this and he would come home from work and he would get it around a 1.3, 1.4. The very first day that he tried pure therapeutic ketones, it shot up to above a two and he had never done that before. So a question is, do I have to eat strict keto with the products? And your answer is, it's up to you. You can eat strict keto. It does not make your body not produce its own ketones. You can eat low carb, you can eat lazy keto. I've got some people that are vegan. I've got a lot of athletes that still like to carb load. Like everybody has their own way of eating. I say, the better you eat, the better you feel. You've got a fuel source to get you to where you wanna go and it helps you in all of those different areas. I like that. Right? And so that is super powerful. So the question was, Stephanie, are you tracking your food? No, I don't track it because honestly, I don't wanna, I'm on my phone a lot. I don't wanna be on it even more to track my food, but I know what I can eat and what I can't eat. I know the foods that are gonna affect my body a certain way. If I'm gonna to go to a pizza place, I know that if I'm gonna eat pizza, I'm gonna feel like garbage. If you can get yourself to eat better for at least two weeks or three weeks, guess what? When you go and decide to have a cheat meal or a cheat day or you eat something outside of what you know you should eat, you're gonna feel like garbage. And then when you go to the birthday party, you're gonna second guess yourself and you're gonna go, do I wanna eat that or do I not wanna eat that? Do I wanna feel yucky? And sometimes you choose to and sometimes you don't. But I've got something to keep me back on track. Like most people, if they were, we talked about eating a donut today or we've talked about having a cheat meal. Most people will get to the weekend or maybe Friday night, have a great time with their friends. They'll go out, have a drink, or have a, whatever that meal is that they have, and guess what happens? They get to Saturday and they go, oh, I'm gonna have the donuts on Saturday morning with the kids. Saturday night comes and somebody offers them, hey, come over for some pizza. Okay, I'll start Sunday. Sunday comes, Monday, like, I'm gonna start on Monday. I'm back on track on Monday, right? What happens, and I just talked to somebody about this. He went to work on Monday. He was really strict with his ketogenic diet, and then what happened? He had somebody over here eating donuts, somebody over here eating bagels. He walked into the office, into the lounge, and there was full of stuff that he was like, I can't handle this, and he couldn't get himself back on track. So a day spirals into a weekend, spirals into a week, into a month, and then you get back here next year when I'm talking to you, and you're gonna go, I couldn't get myself back on track. That's where this comes in. Like, this is a fuel source. I know a lot of people go, you can't drink ketones. Yes, you can. Uh, you can't drink ketones and not eat a ketogenic diet. Yes, you can. I test it in my blood. Your blood doesn't lie, but I actually have three specific tools from experts and doctors I would love to share with you. And so if you post, what should we say they should post? Because I have three tools I'm gonna share with you. Maybe post info below, post info, and I'm gonna send you three videos. One I did with a Dr. Ryan Lowry, who actually helped create this, but he's one of the authors of the Ketogenic Bible. I'm going to send you another video from another doctor that talks about just other other things of what this can help with, because a lot of people go, fat loss. I want some fat loss. <gasps> Guess what? You're here probably on this page for fat loss, and I think that's great. A majority of people want to feel better, but what you're going to realize is ketones are not just about fat loss. It's about energy, focus, energy, <laughs> I already said energy. I feel amazing, by the way. I'm a mom, and it's three o'clock. A lot of you on a Saturday will probably be taking a nap. I'm wired, not in a bad way. I feel great, and I have a lot of stuff to do. My kids wanna go play. We've been talking to a lot of you today. We told them today would be a busy day, and so, and they've been great. So, appetite control, muscle preservation. My girls and I were just flexing on the, anybody use Marco Polo? There's a really fun app that we keep we keep and we talk to all of our family over the United States and so it's a way that we can communicate. So we were flexing our muscles for our family earlier and I was like, my muscles are seriously getting big because I'm working out and ketones preserve muscle. I'm quite proud of these. My husband's sitting over here laughing at me. Um, appetite control, better mood, better sleep, clear skin. I had somebody the other day go, what do you do with your skin? And I was like, I wash it with hot water and I drink ketones. That's it. You'd be shocked at how food actually affects your skin, right? Somebody goes, man, if I eat pizza, my skin breaks out. 
don't eat the pizza, right? Or sugar, what does it do to your, like if our kids don't feel well, a lot of people do not understand the power of food. Like if my kids are coughing or if they've got a runny nose, if they're not feeling great, you can sure bet they're not gonna have any sugar because sugar feeds those yucky germs in your body. And so we drink a lot of water in our home and that's what we do. We don't mess up good for perfect. These are the simple steps that we took every single day to get to where we are almost four years later. I drink ketones. I'm not afraid to tell you that I drink ketones. For those of you who are really strict, somebody messaged me today and she goes, okay, what am I supposed to do to replace an onion because the onions have too many carbs in it and I can't have that. And my message to you is this, this is about a lifestyle. There are some people that you will, you will talk to that are very, very strict keto that track every single macro and every single carb in their broccoli. That's not how I wanna live and I don't feel like that's sustainable because I talk to way too many people that have tried that that have fallen off, gained all their weight back, and need to start over. This is about a long-term approach. And so I think it's important to be able to help yourself make better choices every single day, teach your kids to do the same thing so that when they grow up, they know how to understand when they eat something that's going to affect their body. Not very good, like maybe they grab a cupcake at the birthday party because guess what? I'm not going to tell them yes or no. Or some of you go, how do I get my kids to eat well at school? The school lunches aren't the greatest. It's okay. We're around it all the time. Your kids have to learn how to choose better foods. They can learn how to take the buns off the burgers and the croutons off the salad and grab some vegetables by watching you. If you're talking about being fat in front of your daughters, your daughters are going to look at your food and go, that's mom's diet food. I'm not going to eat that. That's not what we talk about in our family. We talk about valuing our, like watching our words. We talk about how important it is to teach our children. Children, It's not about being fat, it's about fueling our bodies the best that we can. Like your words are powerful and the way that you lead your children, like they're gonna do what you tell, not what you tell them, they're gonna do and they're gonna watch you. So stop degrading yourself in front of your kids. Like look at food as fuel, do the best that you can, involve your children in this and you'd be shocked at when they make a like if they're acting a certain way if their stomach hurts or they're wound up or they may be having a meltdown i always go hey guess what like what did you eat a little while ago and they'll be like "Ooh, yeah i didn't make a very good choice and so if you teach them how to understand and listen to their body think about how we can set our kids up for success when they're our age they don't have to start right now because a lot of adults are starting right now after they feel bad after they don't feel well after they've got low energy and they need to legitimately lose 50 pounds. But if we can set our kids up for success and lead them by example, they don't have to go through this, right? They can choose the better options. They can understand how their body feels. And so I'm kind of on a rant. I was gonna come on here and do some Q and A. And so the question is just simply this, stick to one thing at a time, focus on it, keep going. The scale is not your friend. You're not gonna weigh yourself every single day. Fat loss is different than weight loss. So it is going to be inches lost. How are your clothes fitting? Did you know that actually, I just realized, I was told this or I listened to this the other day, you have not reached a plateau if you have messaged me and in one week you haven't seen the scale move 10 pounds. A plateau is where you have not seen the scale move in six weeks. I was like, that's a serious, like, if you haven't seen something move or you feel like your body's at a plateau and it's only been a week, I'm going to say keep going, drink some more water, remember that stress and sleep have a big part in how your body's going to focus, how your body's going to react to fat loss. It's going to hold on to a lot of stuff. If you're screaming and yelling and not sleeping and you're stressed to the max, like go meditate, go read something. I hate meditating, but my husband does it really well. He, listens, he just puts this little thing on his head and he does, it's called the muse and he listens for birds. He like sits there and, be, and be's quiet, be's quiet. I don't love it, I'm not great at it, but I do like to read. So if you're super stressed, go check out for a minute, put your phone down and go read something. Go listen to a podcast, go take a walk around the block, like de-stress your body. What are some other common questions, babe? Can you think of anything? You should tell your Facebook fans to follow you on Instagram. Oh. And you're gonna do a special Q and A over here. Oh, just I'm- Just for the Instagram peeps. I am trying to do more stuff on Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram stories, I usually show our life, like what our girls do. We homeschool. I'll show you about our food. 
I'm gonna show them on both places, but you're gonna get little snippets on Instagram of our life because it's way easier to do that over there on the stories. And so it's Keto Mom Online, all one word, and then pop over there and I'll do another live over there. But we'll I just- continue it. We'll so, continue it. I just wanted to I share. I really just wanted to share, like the blood doesn't lie. So this doesn't lie, this well, doesn't lie. Do? I'm going to send you some research, three specific articles or three videos to watch if you post info below where you're not listening to me, but you're gonna listen to some experts. So in a little bit, I will get with you that say info. I will write it all out for you. They're great, great tips and great, great videos. Remember, this is a process and a lifestyle. And if you wanna know more, follow me on Instagram or always message me and I'll do more Q and A's later. So, all right, so I appreciate you all. I'm going back over here. We'll talk to you later.